Well, somebody is back from his big man's fishing trip. That was a great time. That was a well needed fishing trip. Like and no well tomorrow. deserved. Thank you so much, baby. I really appreciate it because that was great. That was hands down the best fishing trip I've ever been on. Man, it is so beautiful out here. I cannot believe it. Well, I guess I can believe it. We're in Arkansas. We got Drifting Dreamer over there getting ready. I'm stacking up right now. Ooh, buddy. We got the cabin here. We got the other cabin on over there. The view is a lot better over on this cabin's porch, but I'll be sleeping in that one. I am stoked. I have been waiting for this and waiting for this and waiting for this. I'm just looking forward to this weekend. The banter has already started. We are having a great old time. And I swear, man, it is absolutely beautiful out here. And we're gonna be catching some good old fish. Tim did not lie. This is probably one of the best, best rainbow trout fishing I've ever done in my whole life. And look at this big boy. That's my big boy right here. I got three right here. There's my big boy. Biggest fish of the day so far. We'll see if anybody beats it. But this is beautiful. Uh, yeah, dude, that's a hodge. Yeah, that's a pretty beautiful fire. Yeah, dude, it is. That one fought you good, I too, I seen it. All right, hey Mel, look. Anthony caught a giant fish. <laughs> Biggest one so far I've ever caught in my life. 16 inches almost, 15, three, four. Good. Oh, what a beautiful view, yeah. Oh, look at that waterfall area right there. I think, I think Tim just, is bringing me to the sweet secret honey hole over here. My goodness. I like that ripple right there, right after that waterfall. Dude. Fish on! Touch! Yeah! Oh, little guy. Alright, well, we are packing up. It's time to call this fishing trip. Chicken liver! I think we have uh, caught enough fish for everybody. <laughs> This was a great, great time. Definitely gonna have to do this again. And uh, Tim, yeah. did you get your preparation H? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a lot of back and forth, flip that around. <laughs> Tim though, you called it, man. Cheers, this bro. is the spot, this is the place. What do you think, Ant? Hey, I caught my daily limit in a whole weekend. It took a whole weekend, <laughs> but I got my daily limit. <laughs> <laughs> he got his weekend limit. <laughs> Heck yeah. And the most important thing, he didn't snore a bit. Yeah, Gary. Zero. I, I thought I heard you snore. All as I've ever heard, all as I've ever heard is Gary is like a logger at night, like sawing logs. I'm pretty right? sure he chooses. And Tim, <laughs> Tim, Tim likes silence, right? So yeah. I wasn't allowed to go over and watch my ESPN at night. So he chose Gary, and I and we were joked about it. We was like, oh, Gary snores. Tim said Gary didn't snore at all all weekend. The craziest thing. <laughs> I think it's really just about being comfortable with who you're beside. <laughs> uh, it's been this all weekend, you guys. You guys can all imagine 
And yeah, it's been like that. <laughs> Absolute blast with the guys. And of course, all the shenanigans and everything else that goes on with when you get the guys together. Um, <laughs> but I guess it's time for me to snap back into reality. You can see that we find ourselves back over here in uh, the playhouse area. It is back to uh, to work and back to reality. I, yeah. I hate to knock you out of your, your slumber. <laughs> it's all right but we might be experiencing some weather events later on this week so realistically we we definitely got to get it in today um tomorrow and then we got to see where it's going to take us later on this week who knows correct um on the last video that they saw we got this box doll out we got these three posts in and set oh. um and obviously this is not how it's going to stay so where are we starting and where are you hoping that we finish? I'm hoping, at minimum, we'll have these up and post in to where I can start notching and we can start doing that. Here's hoping. Yeah. The good thing is, friends, is that once we get all of this foundation stuff done over here for the play set and, you know, the foundation area for the decking and everything, once that is done, then it's very, very smooth sailing from there. The right. hard parts of any building is always securing a nice, good, strong level foundation. Correct. And it's making it a little bit more challenging doing it here on this hill. It's, yeah. It's <laughs> sloped, angled, which way, every which way. It's, uh... Yeah. It's, it's here. It's complicated. But at the same time, we're working with it and uh, it's gonna be good. Yeah, we're gonna get as much done as possible. So mm -hmm. no more yakking, I guess. Let's get to work. All right, let's get it. First things first, before I start messing with it. Mm, about 184 and 16, roughly. Now that side's got a little bow on it, so. Yeah. One eighty four and an eighth. I'm not splitting those hairs. <laughs> I'm close enough. Inside, inside. My main line for my footer or the mounting plate needs to be right there. And then right here on the outer side of that guy. Okay. To find out where the middle is of that guy. I already got that guy marked. Naturally, things will drop to point level, right? I just need to get close enough and look down the line of it. And that's about it right there on that outer side, okay? Oh yeah, birds. <laughs> so now ballparkish. How's that looking on that end over there? looking good to me. Well, I've got all the marks set out for the posts. So now it is time for me to drill out the hole so I can get the plates in. Then we can get the post up. Yeah.
That concrete's strong. <laughs> so awful terrible this time around no that was a lot easier this time around yeah so we should be pretty much there and uh we just got to go get those six posts plane the sides and uh give it one screw to tack it in real quick so that way we can find out where is this level and the actual area going to be on the posts yeah so first thing first let's go get the posts let's get them While I'm going through these posts and I'm triple checking all of them, I'm checking for all these, checking is what it's called. If I'm not mistaken, it put it down in the comments. <laughs> You're checking for checking. <laughs> checking for checking. <laughs> and what that is, is the cracks inside the lumber. Now up here at this top part, it is actually cracked pretty good from here all the way through, it looks like. So that's a part that I'm gonna want in the air. Cause I'm gonna have to chop all this down anyway. And I'd rather have that be up than down. Makes sense? Makes sense. I mean, I want it to be more solid at the base, mm -hmm. then have it check and crack even more later on and then have a split at the base of it, that would be bad. Yeah, you're talking about spots like right there. It might, well, yeah, we can check and see certain things, right? But like right here, let's see if I can show you guys. You can see this check mark right here, it it goes. That 
I can feel it wiggling. I'm gonna put my hand right there and I'm moving the board and I can feel it wiggling in the crack. So, I'm gonna mine that and it goes this way as well as that way. Which is, <laughs> let's just put that one up at the top where I can cut it off. Not have to worry about that. Anyway, I'm gonna do this side on this and then I'll roll this one over and we'll put that up at the top. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Heck yeah. Perfect, perfect. Should be good. Which one do you want to start with? So they're all basically like that, right? Mm hmm I feel like it would be best if we start from the furthest one and work our way down, just mm. the way that they're laid out. Okay, let's use this one and put it in that one over there. Okay, okay stand her straight up. <clears throat> You got that? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go grab the hammer. Okay. I'm not beating with my hand. Yeah, please don't. You, you need your hands. <laughs> well, this is a six by six post. It's gonna take a bit to get her moved. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get it up on that side right there. I'm gonna have to push that guy out of the way. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's moving the whole plate. Next. Twist it. Twist it real quick. Okay. I want this guy to be sort of hanging off. One, two, three. We'll have to rotate it. Here we are. Hold that. Thank <laughs> you. 
turn. Good. Hold on. Right there should be close to Hold. All right. All right. Heck yeah. Freaking did awesome. That's that. Yeah. All right, now the fun part. The big old 12 footers. <laughs> fun. And we can see exactly where this thing's gonna land. Okay, I'm gonna have you hold that guy up and just try to hold it as level as you can with what I've got. You don't have to you can bring it up. You can. Let me see here. Down, down, down. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Gary, what do you think? There's a spider. There's a spider. Right by your hand. It's on the board right there. It's crawling down the board right there. It's by the paper. The, do you see it? Oh, it's I by the it. letters. Sorry, I just know how you are with spiders. Thank you. You're welcome. He was about to come up and kiss you. It's fairly close right there. Now, where's that blue? Pull level. It's right there in front of me. You want me to grab it? I got, yeah, got that. Try to set that blue level on this. Can. Here, I can't reach that high. Can you grab it? Okay, I can't see it. Okay. Um, I can. Up. Oh no, down. I was going the wrong way down. Uh, up, 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 up. A little bit more, a little more up. A little more up. Ooh, it's, that's super, that's right there. Call that, call that. That's about as good as you gonna get. Take a look at it, what do you think? Get good to my eye down here. I don't know, it's hard to see it from down there. Ooh, damn, baby. You got it. All right. You got it. Here, let's push that guy. Hell of this way. Uh huh. Oh, oh, too far. No, I know, it's I got the measuring like... stick on it. Right about in that ballparkish. That's right in the middle. Right there is good for you. Yep, Brett's right in the middle. Level. 
Oh. It pulled it. It didn't pull it that much to make a difference. Where are we at? Right there. Right here? Yep, hit it. Still in the middle. Okay. Check that one real quick. Just to see if we're towed in any or that should be mm. damn near. It needs to come this way. Just oh. a tad, huh? Yeah, it does. Yep, it needs to come this way. <sighs> Hold up. So I've got that guy on there like that. All right, and I know that that's in the levelish area. Can you push out this post that I'm sitting on? Push it which way? Uh, that way. Oh, too far. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> just, I'm sorry. Just a little. Oh, oh, oh. Come back just a tad. Just a tad. Right there. Okay. Hold that right there. I am in the midst. Right there. Okay. Now we just. Okay, let me see that level real quick. So I can triple check making sure that we're level this way. Still. It looks good to me from down here. Looks good. All right. Let me triple check with this end now that I've got this exactly where. Mm -hmm. Check out with this guy. Flush this end up.
Well, we did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> we set out today to get these six posts in and get them all connected, and we got it done. Correct. So now what I can do is come back around since I've marked everything and we'll be able to notch out all the posts, which means I'm going to have to take off all of this work that we just did, but it's all right. <laughs> Once it's notched out, we've got it seated and ready to go where it needs to go from there. So yeah, it's a huge, uh, huge thing that's going to be going off our list right there. And we'll be able to, you know, get this thing zapped up the rest of the way and then start putting joists on and there you go. Yeah, this is honestly, like I mentioned earlier, um, I don't know if I was on this video or on a Real Talk video or where, but we have mentioned before that doing all the foundations is honestly the hardest work of all of these jobs. Correct. Because everything has to be plumb, square, level, has to be able to withstand all of the weight that's going to be put on top of it. And it's honestly, the foundation is the main base of your structure. Correct. And if you don't spend enough time getting that correct, Correct, then the whole everything else that you're doing is going to be in shambles in no time. Correct. Like correct. Tomorrow. <laughs> correct. It's a, a foolish man built his home on sand and a wise man built his house on rock. That's right. So foundation right. is key to anything and everything that you do. Yeah. So I think that we have a great foundation down here with all the concrete work that we've done with the bracketing. Um, we have double checked and triple checked. Everything as of right now is plumb square level where it needs to be. As Gary mentioned, we are going to be taking these off and um, we're going to have to cut and then we're going to be making some notch outs so that way the boards will actually be sitting on top and not on the sides as they are right now however we did need to get these up and where it is so that way we can get the exact measurements of the heights and you know be able to line it up so when we are doing the notching yep. it's a thousand times easier yep. i've got a line to just go off of right there i'll be yeah. like all right cool i know where that is yeah at least that's the hope and that's the plan. We'll see yes. how it works out for us tomorrow. So with that said, friends, uh, the bell did go off. The kids will be coming home soon. So you guys know what that means. It's time for us to say our goodbyes. And um, until the next one, friends, we love y'all and we hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later.